Nap, we have the final score presenter, best known for her popular catchphrase, Wolves Nil. It's Gabby <laughs> Logan. And with her, the funniest Londoner since Harry Redknapp said, I haven't thought about the England job, is <laughs> Mickey Flanagan. <laughs> And opposing them on the blue team this week with Freddie Flintoff and Jack Whitehall is the woman who does this. Nobody else can live with the pace of Jessica Ennis. Jessica Ennis heading for Spanish gold. And she confirms her status as the very best. Yes, it's British Olympic head athlete, MB, and all round wonderful woman, Jessica Ennis. <laughs> okay, let's crack on with the show. Red team, here's your question. Have a look at this. So we saw England's finest Wayne Rooney, Ferrari's F1 star Fernando Alonso, and Real Madrid superstar Cristiano Ronaldo. This is a match-up question, so what I want the red team to do is match the sportsmen to their hobby. One of them does magic tricks, one of them plays the drums, and one of them enjoys bingo. Red team, what do you think? Did you have time for a hobby when you were playing? Yeah, you were in it, weren't Jamie, you? Jamie, you have time? Yeah. <laughs> what? Have you been just come out of a coma? <laughs> Did Jamie That's have nice. time while he was playing? I don't know. Do you have time while you're doing this? <laughs> not enough. Oh, so not a little bit it? early, really, is it? <laughs> Jamie, you and Louise, have you got any hobbies at home? I'm Golf, really, for me. Yeah? Yeah, all day long. That's a way of life, golf, for you. Day, it's not yeah. even a hobby, is it? You've not really. No, but I, I love it. You're not, gonna, not into the golf? I enjoy it. I'm, not, I'm so bad at it. It's, it's just annoying. It's, just, it's basically an, it's an angry walk for me, golf. Yeah. It's not even a sport. I just walk around going, oh, she's fucking rubbish. <laughs> and then I go, and then I go, right, I go, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> That's me playing golf, I'll really. Do that, I only that. get a buggy now, so it's a bit of fun. <laughs> oh, really? And then I think, what am I doing this for? I've got a car. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I hate? You know sometimes you hit the ball and it goes through the windmill and the thing <laughs> <laughs> and stops it and you're like, oh man, that's so, <laughs> so annoying. Yeah. Mickey, uh, have you got any hobbies? No. No? Uh, <laughs> None at all. No, not really. I'm quite a keen masturbator. <laughs> Tend to get that out of the way lively. And, yeah. uh, and then I watch telly. Is that an hobby? What about you, Gabby? Do you share any hobbies with Mickey or? <laughs> <laughs> If we shared it, that would be sex, wouldn't it? Well, no, not if we were just watching each other. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's start by having a look at Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the world's best footballers. Let's have a picture of him just relaxing at home. There he is. <laughs> He doesn't look very heterosexual there, does he? But he, he is. He's but like he the age-old debate of whether you want, there. like, metrosexual or, like, a real man. I was thinking a way of explaining it would be like the Flintoff red nap dilemma. Whether you want a man, moisturised, nice skin, probably hairless all over the body, or a guy whose bollocks are so hairy and wrinkly they look like a Greek pension. <laughs> Is a, you know, <laughs> if I had arms like that, I wouldn't be here. I'd be at home wanking myself into a coma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, Gabby, well, I, I never got that from Georgie. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Those four one drivers are going to have a great time. <laughs> 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 They're not. <laughs> They're slamming against the headboard. Georgie, <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry. <laughs> we miss you so much. Honestly, we, we really do. <laughs> Gabby, it's Ronaldo. <laughs> Ronaldo, is he, is he your sort of your sort of guy, Ronaldo? He's just a little bit too hairless, a yeah, bit yeah. too kind of bit pruned, perfect, anyway. a little bit too perfect looking. We've all had a moment like that, haven't we? We haven't, Mickey. I'll be honest. <laughs> 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 
Let's have a look at Wayne Rooney. Is Wayne into bingo, magic, or drumming? Um, got a picture of him here with Michael Carrick enjoying another of his favourite hobbies. Um, <laughs> anyone know what him and Wayne might have been getting up to there? Looks Going to me like holiday. they might have been training. Training <laughs> Forget it. Turn over. Turn over. <laughs> it won't get bigger than that. They all like playing FIFA as well, don't they? They all, play, they all play FIFA and they all tweet about it all the time. It's like, if you're playing it every day, why do you want to go home and play a computer game of it as well? It's like a estate agent playing Monopoly or... <laughs> 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 or a scouser playing Grand Theft Auto. It's amazing. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto again. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> or Scouter playing Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> you should do the voiceover yeah. for the next oh. game. I didn't realise it was illegal. <laughs> so in the game, you go round, you just take a car and you drive it. <laughs> and I just presume that my father will pay for it at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine. Um, <laughs> Or, or, all the Scousers are going to be so angry at home watching on the televisions <laughs> that they've pinched. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different show, Ambitious and Eerie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was thinking Rooney might like the bingo because of all the old ladies. Two fat ladies, 88, for him is a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> Just sidling round. Sweet sherry, anyone? Um, <laughs> anyone here played bingo? Jamie, any of you into bingo? Little go, little, little go. Really? Yeah, my digs lady in Liverpool, I used to have to take her to bingo in my car. Oh. I was 17, oh, yeah. That's so lovely. That's yeah, it wasn't, really. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no. Did you enjoy it? No, yeah, it was all right. You just sit there and have a go with the old girls and... Oh, oh yeah? Great. yeah. What a bit of experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, do you ever play any bingo in your time? Um, I don't think I've ever played bingo. I've not lived. You shop at spa, but you don't go bingo. No, I shop at spa. Yeah, it was on your front of your thing there. Wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> He's a big film fan, Wayne Rooney. Anyone know what his favourite film is? musical is Greece, isn't it? You're is completely it? right. His favourite musical is Greece. He reportedly said, it's a bit weird, but I love Greece. It's a great film. I think it's one of those films you never get tired of watching. I like Dreamgirls and Hairspray. <laughs> There's something you want to tell us, Wayne. <laughs> uh, he goes on to say, I just love uh, musicals. Anyone here like a musical? Ryan Giggs likes musicals. His favourite is, oh, brother, where art thou? <laughs> <laughs> Now, moving on, I, I, I imagine, I expect you're all wondering what Wayne Rooney would look like if yeah. he was a Las Vegas magician. Uh, anyone thinking that? Yeah? Think well, you're in luck, because here we go. There we are. <laughs> this is, uh, is that Roy or is that Siegfried? Siegfried and Wayne there. He kind of works, though, doesn't he? Does. he? It sort of suits him, doesn't it? Chiseled. It's is the it... tiger I feel for. The tiger's a... eyes are just going, kill me now. <laughs> Mickey, um, I see you as a magician with the yeah. hair. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Doesn't it fit? My eyes. Magic it's... Mickey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Magic Mickey. Oh. Hey, we've got it. We're this is huge. You can make a pint of Stella disappear like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, the world has seen many great illusionists. Harry Houdini, David Copperfield, and of course, Sven Goran Eriksson. <laughs> and to prove that some sportsmen can do magic, I've asked the blue team to put on a special League of Their Own magic show. You're up for this, guys, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. OK, so you go and get into position, and I'm going to introduce you. The blue team, everybody. Give them a round of applause. OK, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for our very own Masters of Magic, our trio of tricksters. Please welcome Blue Magic.
down a bit. Are you alright? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's her. <laughs> Stay really Watch still. Watch my head. Watch. I need uh, something valuable, like a, a watch will do, or a wallet, if anyone's got any wallet. Your phone, that'll do. Yeah. Right. That's perfect. <laughs> they will disappear and then reappear on the internet. <laughs> Lock in your answers, Jamie. Uh, match the hobby to the sporting star. What do we think? Who likes magic? Who likes playing the drums? And who's playing bingo in their spare time? What do you think? I think let's not go for the obvious with Rooney and the bingo. I think uh, uh, drums. I think yeah, drums. because if you've been whizzing around the track and then you want to sit down for a little while. <laughs> yeah, afterwards. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Rooney likes magic. Yeah. There we go, Jamie. So what have you gone for? Rooney with um, magic. Alonso with the drums. And Ronaldo, bingo. Let's have a look and see if you're right. <laughs> After trying out the guitar and finding it too difficult, Wayne Rooney is now giving the drums a go. Fernando Alonso is a big fan of magic and card tricks, <laughs> which means that Cristiano Ronaldo is the bingo fan. He got into it at Manchester United when apparently he'd go there for the excitement and to pick up English. <laughs> Quite a specific type of English, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> like going into a pub and going, how much is this? <laughs> All right, uh, and how many fat ladies do I pay? <laughs> <laughs> um, well done, Red Team, you scored one point. <laughs> OK, that's all for part one. After the break, Mickey Flanagan will be attempting the Visa Sprint Challenge with Usain Bolt. Find out if he survives when we come back. Olympic year, so in honour of the world's most famous Olympian, we thought we'd get our guests to take the Visa Sprint Challenge with Usain Bolt. This week, Mickey Flanagan is taking the challenge. All he has to do is run 60 metres as fast as he can. Now, obviously, we couldn't fit a 60 metre track in the studio, so Mickey will be running in this, our high-tech sports rotary sprint simulator. Mm. Or, to give it its real name, a giant hamster wheel. Um, <laughs> But before you go and give it a try, Mickey, I've got some advice for you from the world's greatest sprinter himself, Mr Usain Bolt. If you want to be fast, you need to be in the zone. Music gets me in the zone. I listen to reggae music. Drop the beat, James. Let's see what you got. Let's go. Can I just say, how cool is it that Usain Bolt just went, drop the beat, James? <laughs> <laughs> so cool that I've made myself this. Drop the beat, James. <laughs> drop the beat, James. <laughs> drop the beat, James. <laughs> The reason reggae music's great is because you can do that sort of the standing still <laughs> shuffle. <laughs> Jess, you're in a bar, you're just having a drink, right? Yeah. You're just in a reggae bar. See if you could resist this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Drop the beat, James. You otherwise don't believe me. you look really cool in that whole get up. <laughs> you do. I'm going clubbing after in this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mickey, just to remind you, 60 metres is 10 rotations, okay? okay? We tried it earlier, and a good time is about 35 seconds. I'll so that's fuck off. <laughs> So, Mickey, your time will start when the whistle blows. Audience, let's get behind him. Mickey, are you ready? Yeah. Off you go. <laughs> me before that. <laughs> Doesn't that? <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you, Mickey, and this is impressive, you did that in 29 seconds. Yes. Yes. Do you know what? Yeah. I, I'm going to give you a point for that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's crack on with round one. Blue team, you're up now. Have a look at this. The Sydney Games have left off. Gold and a world record. Ian Cork. A, what a wonderful moment for Denise Lewis. Bradley Wiggins wins the gold medal. Kelly Holmes for Great Britain. What a performance. Olympic Games, Sydney 2000, Athens 2004 and Beijing 2008. The Olympics are a two-week-long festival of sports, but it turns out they're also a two-week-long festival of something else. What I want to know is, which Olympics provided the most condoms per athlete? Because um, this is true, right, Jess? We haven't made this up. When you're an athlete and you turn up at the Olympic Village, you're given condoms. Well, safety first, so, yeah, they have a big tub at, um, you know, most athlete villages. Um, so, yeah, it's Why? True. It's the Olympics. These are the best people. They're physical specimens. Without wishing to sound like Hitler, these are the people that we want breeding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if it's the only way is Essex rat pie, give them as many condoms as you've got. <laughs> <laughs> but in the athletics, those are the people I want making children. 2012, we should have Usain Bolt in a field like he's a prize stallion, just be <laughs> ushering in British women with bad DNA so that he can mate with them. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not having that because you've got the, the women shot putters. Okay. We don't want them reproducing, do we? <laughs> so I'm a shot putter. <laughs> no, but you do a bit of everything, don't you? I mean that in the nicest possible way. <laughs> Has anyone got tickets? Yes. Did it, have you? Yeah. What got, did you get tickets I got for? Three tickets for the men's gymnastics final. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> are, you gonna, are you gonna get down to the Olympics at all? Well, I hope so. I got tickets to the shooting, but I don't know how I'm gonna find that event, because if you ask around East London for a shooting, you're gonna get met with a wall of silence. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where the shooting is? I ain't heard nothing, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
<laughs> some athletes abstain from sex before games. Jamie, do, do you ever abstain from sex before a big game? What, with Gary Neville? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Neville Souness, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. You're not doing that again. No. Um, no. <laughs> well, Jamie's track record, if he had sex before a game, he'd probably snap his cock. <laughs> I'm going to have someone have to come on to finish it off. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Frederick, Freddie. Jess, you must be you must be really <laughs> excited about the Olympics. How do you deal with the pressure of it? It's 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 mad because obviously that's what everyone's talking about. Everyone's excited, but um, yeah, I think everyone's put that gold medal around my neck already. So it's a lot of pressure. Um, but yeah, it's good. I'm training well, and everything's going to plan. So okay, yeah. so you and you do seven yeah, events in the heptathlon. What, yeah. what, are, what are this? What are the events? Javelin, 800 meters, yeah. egg and Her spoon, hurdles, <laughs> <laughs> egg and spoon, Science. Science. Yeah. hurdles, 200, the 200, sack. 200. <laughs> <laughs> And beanbag on the head. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, if you had to assign one of your disciplines yeah. to everyone here, yeah. who, what would you go? 100 metres, obviously. <laughs> You'd be 100 hurdles. Yeah. Hurdles? I would. Yeah. Yeah, hurdles. I reckon you'd be a good Just team. steam through them. I think yeah. so. <laughs> We could use Jack as a javelin. <laughs> I think Jack definitely high jump. High jump for oh, Jack. Yeah. He's got that slim physique. Yeah. Perfect. Stop flirting. Yeah. <laughs> Fred? Freddy. Hey. Would be. Well, I've heard you're really good at javelin, so. I've never done it, but it's just throwing a stick, isn't it? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know what the British Olympic Association have told our athletes not to do at London 2012? Anyone? Twitter. Yeah, it's <laughs> 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 a good point. <laughs> the BOA have advised British athletes not to shake hands in oh, case yeah, they catch this. a bug which wrecks their Olympic dreams. Oh, you out as much as you like. Condoms, but no, nah, don't shake the hand. Here's your condoms, guys, but uh, you've got to watch the old hand-to-hand -hand yeah. condoms. Who uh... shakes hands during sex? <laughs> Nice to meet you. There we are. <laughs> that was quite similar to my sack. <laughs> there we are. That's your... You've got a great insight there, without him even knowing it, of what Jack's like in bed. Yes. And there we are. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly all happening now. You know, we're, uh, we're, 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 we're both involved now. <laughs> That's what I've ever done. You know, you never know what to say at the end. I genuinely found myself once going, Ooh, bravo. <laughs> <laughs> Blue team, let's lock in your answers. Which Olympics provided the most condoms per athlete? What do we think? Beijing, Sydney, or Athens? Let's lock them in. What do you think? I reckon they're at it in Sydney. <laughs> okay. Athens, they're into that in Greece. I don't use condoms. <laughs> I can't bear the smell of burning rubber. <laughs> <laughs> Let's lock these. Okay, Fred, what have you gone for? We've gone for Sydney, Beijing, then Athens. Let's have a look and see if you're right. Bronze position with eight condoms per athlete was Sydney 2000. The silver goes to Beijing with nine condoms allocated per athlete. And the Athens Olympics grabbed the gold with 12 condoms per athlete. That means, blue team, you scored one point. <laughs> At the end of that round, the red team are in the lead. <laughs> see you after the break. Next round is all about this young lady. Jessen is great to go. She's absolutely flying. Oh, nailed it. It's big. Jessica Ennis heading for gold. Great 
Let's all have her here now. <laughs> uh, okay, Red Team, let's get your answer. Uh, what does not inspire Jessica? Is it the poem, the shopping, or the photograph? Let's lock them in. I don't think she's used a picture of herself looking miserable to inspire no. herself. I think the other two should probably, yeah. Okay, so what are you going for, Jamie? Miserable photo. All right, let's have a look and see if you're right. Oh, no, so, uh, so you've gone <laughs> for. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Before. <laughs> 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 All right. So Jamie, you've gone for a miserable <laughs> photo. <laughs> Jess, tell us the answer. What have you not used as inspiration? Shopping spree. <laughs> so Red Team, you've got that question wrong. So you scored no points. And um, Jess, do you remember Linford's poem? I can't recall all of it, no. But it was very inspiring. And it, and was, very it was him reading it that yeah. inspired you? We had a team meeting before the European Championships in Barcelona, and obviously, you know, he won medals in Barcelona and performed well, so he came down and read a little poem. We couldn't actually find... Uh, we tried to get in touch with him to, to find the poem that he read that day. So I've actually written an inspirational poem oh. for you about London 2012. So, if I give it to you, will you read it? Yes. Yeah? Okay, so this is a poem I've written. I just want you to use this as inspiration to get you <clears throat> over the line and bring back the gold. Let's, okay. let's enjoy my poem to inspire Jessica Ennis. Okay, ready? Yeah? Truly history will note down these great Olympics in London town. From east to west, from Barnet to Morden, I'll bring, <laughs> I'll bring back gold and <laughs> shag James Cook. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be nice to have a little treat waiting at the end of the game. <laughs> um, so, to, be, to be fair, she was brought up on tripe. <laughs> uh, OK, Blue Team, you're up next, and it's a physical challenge in honour of Jessica Ennis. Jack, you're up for this one, and all you have to do is beat Mickey Flanagan at the high jump. There's a point if you do. So, boys, if you go down and take your places, please. Now, over here, we've, uh, we've, this is a freestyle event, so the boys can jump over the bar in any way they want. Uh, just here is the arrow, and this is at 195. And, Jess, this is your personal best. 195, yep. So, you fancy a chance to <laughs> Now, Mickey, we were told you were high jump champion yeah. at school. This is actually true. Yeah, I was nine. <laughs> you were nine? <laughs> They called me the bird. <laughs> 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 All right. I do quite a lot of sport yeah. at school as well. I was actually oh, captain of the fox hunting team. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Jack, you're going to go first. Yeah. Um, Jess, have you got any tips? Just get as high as you can. <laughs> get as high as you can. Exactly. All right, let's give him some support, ladies and gentlemen. Give him some encouragement. Well, <laughs> Jack. It's a freestyle event, they go anyway. Okay, Mickey, up you go. Go on, oh, here he goes. Mickey, have another go. Yeah. One more go, one more go, <laughs> Mickey. Come on, let's get behind him, ladies and gentlemen. Come on.
come back, we'll find out what happened to this pole vaulter at the Great City Games in Newcastle. Steve Hooker, one of the men that everybody here has come to see. See you shortly. Welcome back to A League of Their Own. Let's see what happened in the pole vault. Steve Hooker, one of the men that everybody here has come to see. Olympic champion, number one in the world this year. Five metres 40, second at 10. Oh, my God. That's what, that's what happens when you do the pole vault dressed as the Riddler. <laughs> um, we finish with our quick fire round, where the time our teams get to answer questions is determined by how long they can sustain a sporting challenge. Tonight's game is about one of the most iconic moments in sport, the medal ceremonies. So what I want the teams to do is take the place of the flags. <laughs> All they have to do is hang on to the flagpoles for as long as they can whilst answering questions. So. Freddie and Jack, Jamie and Mickey, you're up for this. So off you go to get changed. Give them a round of applause, everybody. <laughs> Whilst they're doing that, ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause to the Royal Marines Band. <laughs> Here they are. So, hi, right, guys. So, uh, I'm going to come and have a go. This is Major Thornhill. How are you, I'm sir? Good, are you right? I'm very, very well indeed. Um, whilst the guys are getting ready, do you mind if I have a little go? I think they're great. Oh, yeah? yeah, shall I? Yeah. All right. So let me give you, we'll give you this. So what can I play? Okay. Got the, I think, I think right. What are the drums? Yeah. All right. Well, you've, got, go. you've, got a, you've got to look the part. Oh, okay. Distinctive white. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Put the hand on. Oh, it is. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. You stand where, can you stand? Stand where? Just stand there. Here. Yep. Give a little drum introduction, and then you step off. Follow John. Do exactly. As are you John? You ready? John, just follow me, all right? <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Don't need to shout, mate. You're all here. You're so close. Is that you? With the stick? <laughs> Amazing how some guys compensate for the old. <laughs> Here we go. John. You all right, John? I'm all right. OK. Here we go. Yeah. You're not John. Where's John gone? <laughs> That's not even John. Where's John? You were there a minute ago. <laughs> How long does it take to, uh, to normally learn to do that as professionally as I just did it? Um, <laughs> musicians take he don't um, want to three smile, years. <laughs> no, mate. You just have to stay... <laughs> you just have to stay still, do you? You're not allowed to move until he... Weird, isn't it? <laughs> what do you know? Gays are in the military. Ladies and gentlemen, the Royal Marines Band. That's two people. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, sir. That was great. Okay, the blue team are going first, so please welcome back Freddie Flintoff and Jack Whitehall. <laughs> you right, Jack? Yep. Where am I? Hey, Jack, you look great. You feeling happy? I look like I'm canvassing for the BMP. <laughs> <laughs> you get through there. OK. Yeah. All right, Freddie, are you, are you OK? Are you feeling patriotic? Yeah. Always, eh? Yeah. Of course you are. I need to put these on, cos I have a chlorine allergy. <laughs> a 
OK, blue team, your time starts when the music begins. So, Major Thornhill, over to you. Ask a question. Name three colours of the Olympic rings. Uh, red, 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 yellow, and blue. green, blue. Name three track and field throwing events at the Summer Olympics. Shot put, the spiky one, and, and the discus. And discus. Yes. Name, three... <laughs> Name three last three different FA Cup winners. Um, Liverpool, Manchester United, Chelsea. No. Name three Olympic venues in the Olympic Park. For the questions that you, that you got wrong and named the last three different FA Cup winners uh, were Manchester City, Chelsea and Portsmouth. But well done, you scored four points. You all right, Fred? Slightly embarrassed. <laughs> 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 So please welcome back to the arena Jamie Redknapp and Mickey Flanagan. <laughs> Mickey, how are you feeling? You feeling confident? Um, well, I'm a powerful human being. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm also a fat one. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in there is the truth. <laughs> okay, Red Team, you need six points to win. Your time starts when the music begins. So, over to you, Major Thornhill. Oh. Name three teams that have won the Premier League. Uh, Chelsea, Manchester United, Arsenal. Yes. Name three Summer Olympic host cities from this century. Uh, Beijing, Beijing, Sydney, Melbourne. No. no. Name three rugby teams Gabby's husband, Kenny Logan, has played for. What? Scotland! Glasgow! Yes. Name three Olympic swimming distances. 100 metres, 200 metres, 50 metres. Yes. <laughs> Name three London airports. Three London airports. Ah! Oh! Well done, you did well. You only actually got one wrong, which was the three Summer Olympic host cities from this <laughs> century. You could have had... <laughs> <laughs> you could have had Athens, Beijing, Sydney, London or Rio de Janeiro, not Melbourne, as you said. But well done, Red Team. Come back and join us. Three points, which means the blue team are tonight's winners. You're in a league of your own. Well done. <laughs> so thanks to Jamie, Mickey and Gabby, Fred, Jack and Jessica. And thanks to Usain Bolt and the Royal Marines Band. I'm James Corden. You've been watching a league of your own on Sky 1 HD. Until next time. Good night. After a tragic car accident, Jason Isaacs finds himself leading an arduous double life that defies reality in our brand new drama Awake. That's next over on Sky Atlantic HD. State agent playing Monopoly or <laughs> <laughs> or a scouser playing Grand Theft Auto. It's amazing. <laughs> <sense. laughs> <Why are you? laughs> 
Let's say Grand Theft Auto again. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> or Scouter playing Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> You should do the voiceover yeah. for the next oh. game. I didn't realise it was illegal. <laughs> so in the game, you go round, you just take a car and you drive it. <laughs> and I just presume that my father will pay for it at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine. Um... Let's or, have a... All the Scousers are going to be so angry at home watching on the televisions <laughs> that they've pinched. <laughs> <laughs> It's a different show, Ambitious and Eerie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was thinking Rooney might like the bingo because of all the old ladies. About. <laughs> yeah, two fat, two fat ladies, 88 for him is a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> Just sidling round. Sweet sherry, anyone? Um, <laughs> anyone here played bingo? Jamie, are you into bingo? Little go, little, little go. Really? Yeah, my Diggs lady in Liverpool, I used to have to take her to bingo in my car. Oh. When I was 17, oh, yeah. That's so lovely. Yeah, it wasn't really. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no. Did you enjoy it? No, yeah, it was all right. You sit there and have a go with the old girls and. Oh, oh yeah. Great. yeah. Jess, do you ever play any bingo in your time? Um, I don't think I've ever played bingo. I've not lived. You shop at spa, but you don't go bingo. No, I shop at spa. Yeah, it was on your front of your thing there. When you <laughs> <laughs> He's a big film fan, Wayne Rooney. Anyone know what his favourite film is? musical's Grease, isn't it? You're is completely it? right. His favourite musical is Grease. He reportedly said, it's a bit weird, but I love Grease. It's a great film. I think it's one of those films you never get tired of watching. I like Dreamgirls and Hairspray. <laughs> There's something you want to tell us, Wayne. <laughs> uh, he goes on to say, I just love uh, musicals. Anyone here like a musical? Ryan Giggs likes musicals. His favourite is Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? <laughs> <laughs> Now, moving on, I, I, I imagine, I expect you're all wondering what Wayne Rooney would look like if he was a Las Vegas magician. Uh, anyone thinking that? Yeah? Think well, you're in luck, because here we go. There we are. <laughs> this is, uh, is that Roy or is that Siegfried? Siegfried and Wayne there. He kind of works, though, doesn't he? Does. It? it sort of Give suits him, doesn't it? Chiseled. It's is the it... tiger I feel for. Is the tiger's a... eye. <laughs> <laughs> And beanbag on the head. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, if you had to assign one of your disciplines yeah. to everyone here, yeah. who, what would you go? 100 metres, obviously. You'd be 100 hurdles. Yeah. I would. Yeah. Yeah. Hurdles. I reckon you'd be a good one. Just steam through them. I think yeah. so. <laughs> We could use Jack as a javelin. <laughs> I think Jack definitely high jump. High jump for yeah. Jack. He's got that slim physique. Yeah. Perfect. Stop flirting. Yeah. <laughs> Fred? Freddy. Hey. Would be. Well, I've heard you're really good at javelin, so. I've never done it, but it's just throwing a stick, isn't it? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know what the British Olympic Association have told our athletes not to do at London 2012? Anyone? Twitter. Get their ropes up. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good point. <laughs> the BOA have advised British athletes not to shake hands in oh, case yeah, they catch this. a bug which wrecks their Olympic dreams. Oh, you have given out condoms, but no, I don't shake the hand. Here's your condoms, guys, but uh, you've got to watch the old hand to hand. Yeah. Condom, because, uh... Who shakes hands during sex? <laughs> Nice to meet you. There we are. <laughs> that was quite similar to my sack. <laughs> there we are. That's your... You've got a great insight there without him even knowing it of what Jack's like in bed. Yes. There we are. <laughs> so, <laughs> certainly all happening now. You know, we're, uh, we're, 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 we're both involved now. <laughs> What I've ever done, you know, you never know what to say at the end. I genuinely found myself once going, Ooh, bravo! <laughs> <laughs> Blue 
Blue team, let's look in your answers. Which Olympics provided the most condoms per athlete? What do we think? Beijing, Sydney, or Athens? Let's lock them in. What do you think? I reckon they're at it in Sydney. <laughs> okay. Athens, they're into that in Greece. That's I don't use condoms. <laughs> I can't bear the smell of burning rubber. <laughs> 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 Let's lock these. OK, Fred, what have you gone for? We've gone for Sydney, Beijing, then Athens. Let's have a look see if you're right. Bronze position with eight condoms per athlete was Sydney 2000. The silver goes to Beijing with nine condoms allocated per athlete. And the Athens Olympics grab the gold with 12 condoms per athlete. That means, blue team, you scored one point. <laughs> At the end of that round, the red team are in the lead. <laughs> Well done, The questions that you, that you got wrong were named the last three different FA Cup winners uh, were Manchester City, Chelsea, and Portsmouth. But well done, you scored four points. You all right, Fred? Slightly embarrassed. <laughs> 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 All right, so please welcome back to the arena Jamie Redknapp and Mickey Flanagan. <laughs> Mickey, how are you feeling? You feeling confident? Um, well, I'm a powerful human being. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm also a fat one. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in there is the truth. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Red Team, you need six points to win. Your time starts when the music begins. So, over to you, Major Thornhill. Whoa. Name three teams that have won the Premier League. Uh, Chelsea, Manchester United... Arsenal. Yes. Name three Summer Olympic host cities from this century. Uh, Beijing, Beijing, Sydney, Melbourne. No. no. Name three rugby teams Gabby's husband, Kenny Logan, has played for. What? Scotland! Glasgow! Yes. Name three Olympic swimming distances. 100 metres, 200 metres, 50 metres. Yes. <laughs> Well, you only actually got one wrong, which was the three Summer Olympic host cities from this <laughs> century. You could have had... <laughs> <laughs> you could have had Athens, Beijing, Sydney, London or Rio de Janeiro, not Melbourne, as you said. But well done, Red Team. Come back and join us. Three points, which means the blue team are tonight's winners. You're in a league of your own. Well done. <laughs> so thanks to Jamie, Mickey and Gabby, Fred, Jack and Jessica. And thanks to Usain Bolt and the Royal Marines Band. I'm James Corden. You've been watching a league of your own on Sky One HD. Until next time. Good night. Come back. It's Olympic year, so in honour of the world's most famous Olympian, we thought we'd get our guests to take the Visa Sprint Challenge with Usain Bolt. This week, Mickey Flanagan is taking the challenge. All he has to do is run 60 metres as fast as he can. Now, obviously, we couldn't fit a 60 metre track in the studio, so Mickey will be running in this, our high-tech sports rotary sprint simulator. <laughs> or, to give it its real name, a giant hamster wheel. Um, <laughs> But before you go and give it a try, Mickey, I've got some advice for you from the world's greatest sprinter himself, Mr Usain Bolt. If you want to be fast, you need to be in the zone. Music gets me in the zone. I listen to reggae music. Drop the beat, James. 
see what you got. Let's go. Can I just say, how cool is it that Usain Bolt just went, drop the beat, James? <laughs> <laughs> so cool that I've made myself this. Drop the beat, James. <laughs> drop the beat, James. <laughs> drop the beat, James. <laughs> The reason reggae music's great is because you can do that sort of the standing still <laughs> shuffle. <laughs> Jess, you're in a bar, you're just having a drink, right? Yeah. You're just in a reggae bar. See if you could resist this. Okay. <laughs> Drop the beat, James. You otherwise don't believe you look really cool in that whole get up. <laughs> the debate of whether it you want be. like metrosexual or like a real man, mm. I was thinking a way of explaining it would be like the flint off red nap dilemma. Whether you want a man <laughs> moisturized, nice skin, probably hairless all over the body, or a guy <laughs> whose bollocks are so hairy and wrinkly they look like a Greek pensioner. <laughs> Is a you know, <laughs> if I had arms like that, I wouldn't be here. I'd be at home wanking myself into a coma. <laughs> Gabby, I, I never got that from Georgie. <laughs> ah, did you not? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Those four one drivers are gonna have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> They're not. <laughs> Slamming against the headboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Georgie, I'm so blind. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we miss you so much. Honestly, <laughs> we, we really do. Gabby, <laughs> it's Ronaldo. <laughs> Ronaldo, is he, is he your, sort of, your sort of guy, Ronaldo? Just a little bit too... Hairless, a yeah, bit yeah. too kind of bit pruned, perfect, yeah, yeah. a little bit too perfect looking. We've all had a moment like that, haven't we? We haven't, Mickey, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at Wayne Rooney. Is Wayne into bingo, magic or drumming? Um, got a picture of him here with Michael Carrick enjoying another of his favourite hobbies. Um, <laughs> anyone know what him and Wayne might have been getting up to there? Looks Going to me like they might have been training. Training. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. Turn over. Turn over. <laughs> it won't get bigger than that. They all like playing FIFA as well, don't they? They all, all, play, FIFA. all play FIFA and they all tweet about it all the time. It's like if you're playing it every day, why do you want to go home and play a computer game of it as well? It's like a estate agent playing Monopoly or. <laughs> yeah. Or a scouser playing Grand Theft Auto. It's amazing. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto again. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> <laughs> or Scouter playing Grand Theft Auto. You should do the voiceover yeah. for the next oh. game. I didn't realise it was illegal. <laughs> in the game, you go round, you just take a car and you drive it. <laughs> and I just presume that my father will pay for it at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> All, all, all the Scousers are going to be so angry at home watching on the televisions <laughs> that they've pinched. <laughs> <laughs> it's a <laughs> yeah. Look at that. That is a f***ing <laughs> arm. <laughs> if I had arms like that, I wouldn't be here. I'd be at home wanking myself into a coma. <laughs> I, 
I never got that from Georgie. <laughs> Did you not? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Those four with one drivers are going to have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> They're not. <laughs> Slamming against the headboard. <laughs> Gabby, it's Ronaldo. <laughs> Ronaldo, is he is he your sort of your sort of guy, Ronaldo? Just a little bit too hairless, a yeah, bit yeah. too kind of bit pruned, perfect, yeah. a little bit too perfect looking. We've all had a moment like that, haven't we? We haven't, Mickey, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at Wayne Rooney. Is Wayne into bingo, magic or drumming? Um, got a picture of him here with Michael Carrick enjoying another of his favourite hobbies. Um, <laughs> anyone know what him and Wayne might have been getting up to there? Looks Going to me like they might have been training. Training. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. Turn over. Turn over. <laughs> it won't get bigger than that. They all like playing FIFA as well, don't they? They all, play FIFA. all play FIFA and they all tweet about it all the time. It's like if you're playing it every day, why do you want to go home and play a computer game of it as well? It's like a estate agent playing Monopoly or. <laughs> <laughs> Or a scouser playing Grand Theft Auto. It's amazing. <laughs> <sense. laughs> Why are you? <laughs> Let's play Grand Theft Auto again. <laughs> <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> <laughs> or a scouser playing Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> <laughs> you should do the voiceover yeah. for the next oh. game. <laughs> I didn't realise it was illegal. <laughs> In the game, you go round, you just take a car and you drive <laughs> it. And I just presume that my father will pay for it at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine. Um, <laughs> or, or, have a, all the Scousers are going to be so angry at home watching on the televisions <laughs> that they've pinched. <laughs> <laughs> It's a different show, Ambitious and Eerie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was thinking Rooney might like the bingo because of all the old ladies. About. <laughs> Does that cool, right? Yeah, Just... two, fat, two fat ladies, 88, for him is a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> Just sidling round, sweet sherry. Look at that. That is a you know, arm. <laughs> if I had arms like that, I wouldn't be here. I'd be at home wanking myself into a coma. <laughs> I, I never got that from Georgie. <laughs> ah, did you not? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Those four with one drivers are going to have a great time. <laughs> 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 so really is right now. They're not. <laughs> Slamming against the headboard. <laughs> Gabby, it's Ronaldo. <laughs> Ronaldo, is he is he your sort of your sort of guy, Ronaldo? Just a little bit too hairless, a yeah, bit yeah. too kind of bit pruned, perfect, yeah. a little bit too perfect looking. We've all had a moment like that, haven't we? We haven't, Mickey, I'll be honest. <laughs> Let's have a look at Wayne Rooney. Is Wayne into bingo, magic, or drumming? Um, got a picture of him here with Michael Carrick enjoying another of his favourite hobbies. Um, <laughs> anyone know what him and Wayne might have been getting up to there? Looks Going to me like they might have been training. Training. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. Turn over. Turn over. <laughs> it won't get bigger than that. They all like playing FIFA as well, don't they? They all, all, play play all play FIFA and they all tweet about it all the time. It's like if you're playing it every day, why do you want to go home and play a computer game of it as well? It's like a estate agent playing Monopoly or. <laughs> 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 or a scouser playing Grand Theft Auto. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> <sense. laughs> why are you? Let's play Grand Theft Auto again. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> <laughs> or a scouser playing Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> You should do the voiceover yeah. for the next oh. game. I didn't realise it was illegal. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, it's a game. You go round, you just take a car and you drive <laughs> it. And I just presume that my father will pay for it at some point. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I imagine. Um, Let's or, have a look. All the Scousers are going to be so angry at home watching on the televisions <laughs> that they've pinched. <laughs> <laughs> It's a different show, Ambitious and Eerie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was thinking Rooney really might like the bingo because of all the old ladies. About... <laughs> it's it's cool, right? Yeah, Just... two, fat, two fat ladies, 88, for him is a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> Just sidling round. Sweet sherry, anyone? Um, <laughs> anyone here played... <laughs> Isn't it great to have her here now? OK, Red Team, let's get your answer. Oh. Uh, what does not inspire Jessica? Is it the poem, the shopping or the photograph? Let's lock them in. I don't think she's used a picture of herself looking miserable to inspire no. herself. I think the other two should probably, yeah. OK. So what are you going for, Jamie? Miserable photo. All right, let's have a look and see if you're right. Oh, no, so, uh, so you've gone for... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh. Before. <laughs> 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 All right. So Jamie, you've gone for a miserable <laughs> photo. <laughs> Jess, tell us the answer. What have you not used as inspiration? Shopping spree. <laughs> so Red Team, you've got that question wrong. So you scored no points. And um, Jess, do you remember Linford's poem? I can't recall all of it, no. But it was very inspiring. And it, and was, very it was him reading it that yeah. inspired you? We had a team meeting before the European Championships in Barcelona, and obviously, you know, he won medals in Barcelona and performed well, so he came down and read a little poem. We couldn't actually find... Uh, we tried to get in touch with him to, to find the poem that he read that day. So I've actually written an inspirational poem oh. for you about London 2012. So, if I give it to you, will you read it? Yes. Yeah? OK, so this is a poem I've written. I just want you to use this as inspiration to get you <clears throat> over the line and bring back the gold. Let's, okay. let's enjoy my poem to inspire Jessica Ennis. OK, you ready? Yeah. Truly history will note down these great Olympics in London town. From east to west, from Barnet to Morden, I'll bring, <laughs> I'll bring back gold and <laughs> shag James Cook. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be nice to have a little treat waiting at the end of the game. <laughs> uh, so, to, be, to be fair, she was brought up on tripe. <laughs> uh, OK, Blue Team, you're up next, and it's a physical challenge in honour of Jessica Ennis. Jack, you're up for this one, and all you have to do is beat Mickey Flanagan at the high jump. There's a point if you do. So, boys, if you go down and take your places, please. Now, over here, we've, uh, we've, this is a freestyle event, so the boys can jump over the bar in any way they want. Uh, just here is the arrow, and this is at 195. And, Jess, this is your personal best. 195. Auto again. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> or the Scouter playing Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> You should do the voice over yeah. for the next oh. game. I didn't realise it was illegal. <laughs> the game, you go round, you just take a car and you drive it. <laughs> and I just presume that my father will pay for it at some point. <laughs> That's what I imagine. Um... Let's all, have a look. all the Scousers are going to be so angry at home watching on the televisions <laughs> that they've pinched. <laughs> <laughs> It's a different show, Ambitious and Eerie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was thinking Rooney really might like the bingo because of all the old ladies. About... <laughs> it's it's cool, right? Yeah, Just... two, fat, two fat ladies, 88, for him is a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> Just sidling round. Sweet sherry, anyone? Um, <laughs> anyone here played bingo? Jamie, are you into bingo? Little go. I had a little go. Really? Yeah, my Diggs lady in Liverpool, I used to have to take her to bingo in my car. Oh. When I was 17, oh, yeah. That's so lovely. Yeah, it wasn't what? really. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> no. Not, didn't enjoy it? 
No, yeah, it was all right. You sit there and have a go with the old girls and... Oh, oh yeah. Very... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just want a bit of experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Jess, do you ever play any bingo in your time? Um, I don't think I've ever played bingo. I've not lived. You shop at spa, but you don't go bingo. No, I shop at spa. Yeah, it was on your front of your thing there. Wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> He's a big film fan, Wayne Rooney. Anyone know what his favourite film is? musical's Grease, isn't it? You're is completely it? right. His favourite musical is Grease. He reportedly said, it's a bit weird, but I love Grease. It's a great film. I think it's one of those films you never get tired of watching. I like Dreamgirls and Hairspray. <laughs> There's something you want to tell us, Wayne. <laughs> um, he goes on to say, I just love uh, musicals. Anyone here like a musical? Ryan Giggs likes musicals. His favourite is their brother, Where Art Thou? <laughs> <laughs> Now, moving on, I, <laughs> I, I imagine, I expect you're all wondering what Wayne Rooney would look like if yeah. he was a Las Vegas magician. Uh, anyone thinking that? Yeah? Think well, you're in luck, because here we go. There we are. <laughs> this is, uh, is that Roy or is that Siegfried? Siegfried and Wayne there. He kind of works, though, doesn't he? Does. It? it sort Give of him suits him, doesn't it? Chiseled. It's is the it... tiger I feel for. The tiger's a... eyes are just going, kill me now. <laughs> Mickey, um, I see you as a magician with the hair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah look at that. Doesn't it fit? Dry eyes. Magic it's... Mickey. Yeah. yeah. Magic Mickey. Oh. Oh. Hey, we got it. This is huge. Come on.